Recently, I set up a small poll at the YouTube community and the results were quite interesting. I simply asked, easy, fun, boring or dumb? And the results were quite interesting. But if you'd like to learn how I created the video effect showing the poll, then stay around. Hey, 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 it's Grips. And as always, thanks for joining me as you do. So we're going to be using the new blue Tyler Pro and simply click and drag this onto your timeline. I am just using the standalone version simply because my computer is as fast as a three-legged horse. Before we begin, I'll have to make a small confession. I learned most of this in a webinar and I thought the effect was so cool and I'd love to share it with my subscribers. So here we go. For this project, I need to create layers. And the easiest way to do that is by using Photoshop. Now, if you don't have Photoshop, you can always use GIMP, which is free, a version of Photoshop online. So first thing I need to do is basically pull out a picture of anything that I want to use as a background, like this one here. I'm going to control T it, and I'm going to shrink this down into this corner here. And what I like to do now is basically create layers. So I'm going to duplicate this probably about nine times. Something like this will do fine. And then all I'm going to do is just move it around. Now it's a little bit smaller than the actual project, that's okay. I could always just crop that in because this file is quite large anyway. So I'm pretty sure it will work perfectly in my project. There you go. So now I'm just going to save that as a PSD. So save as, and I'm going to save that as a PSD. Now I've already done this, so let's, let's go back to Titler Pro. Let's bring that PSD file into our project. So file, import, and select PSD and then simply find the file where you put it and then double click on it. Mine is called War. <laughs> I'm so clever. And there you go. Now, it's now fit perfectly to the project and the height and I want it a little bit wider. So I'm just gonna use these nodes to fit the entire project perfectly. So voila. Now I'll show you why we wanna use PSD files because these are layered and we can animate the layers individually. Now, if you did stretch your project or your file to fit the project, and now you start to see a little bit of spacing, fear not, I'll show you how we can fix that. Double click, because it is in a layer, and then you can just slightly scale that up to fill out those little gaps. And this is a very simple way just to make everything look nice and tidy. Okay, I think I'm pretty happy with that. Yep. All right, so what we need to do now is we need to make a transition. In other words, how are we going to bring these files into the timeline? Now, some people already asked me, what's the difference between an effect and transition? Well, effect, basically, you already have something viewing on your project or on your timeline, and you're adding an effect to that, something like wiggle, wobble, or, you know, splash. A transition is in how you're going to bring the project into view. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to do transitions. We're going to go to animations. And I'm going to do probably the fly-in, which is I did before. And I'm going to do the falling letters like so. Now, I'm also going to show you quickly. Let's do the falling word. And I'm just going to double click to apply it. Now, it looks all, all good and everything. But let's say, for instance, you don't want all or the entire project. If you double click on fly-in, you see here apply to the word paragraph or line and we can just do it to the letter and then that changes everything so let's have a look like so so don't forget that just double click here where it says fly and double click and that opens up the transitions tab and then you can also then play with that but i don't want this effect so i'm going to delete that effect i'm going to go back into my library and i'm going to go back into the falling letters and this is what i used for my intro so let's stick to what we know Voila. So that's the first part done. And all we need to do now is create text. So go to add text. Now you'll see that this is actually hidden. And that's because the text track is beneath the wall track. So to change that, I can just simply click and drag this to the top. And now this is on the top. It's just like any other, like it is layered. So it's very simple to understand. Also, what I want to do, I want to increase the duration from five seconds to six seconds. To do that, I'm just going to go over here to the titler highlight the five press number six and that'll now make it exactly six seconds and i'm going to drag the end right to the six second mark and it's going to look 
pretty cool. All right, so all we need to do now is change the text itself. So let's highlight the text itself and then double click here and then click again. And then we can just write whatever we need to write. And I'm going to write grips and I believe it was tutorials. I hope I spelt that right because my English is pretty appalling. I went ahead and quickly just added some different font to it, like impact and added a boldness to it. Just create the font that I desire. I didn't think you needed to see me sit and do this for the last 20 minutes. So what we want to do now is we want to add a slight extrusion. For the sake of the tutorial, I'm just going to bring it down or basically rotate it so you can see me add the, the extrusion. To add the extrusion, I'm just going to double click in this panel and then just hit the number five and that gives me an extrusion of five now i'm pretty happy with that Whoa. sorry about that all right so all i need to do now is just recenter everything and put it back to where it was so global reposition rotation and there we go now what i want to do is hello put it back to the top i got the extrusion now i also want to add a small drop down shadow so we're going to go into the uh, attributes panels or basically the style panels but I'm going to go for the effects and then I'm going to go into the elements and I'm going to look here at the drop down shadow and I think this is the one I want so double click bingo and I'll show you how quickly you can get into the attributes panels for this shadow double click here on drop drop shadow double click and voila, now you're into the attributes panel and you can also go through style global and effects transitions so if you add a transition Transition tab, effects, effects tab. Duh. All right, so what we want to do is we want to change the angle slightly. So I want to bring it a little bit to the right. And then I want to offset it as well by bringing it closer to me because I don't really want to make it stand out. I'm just trying to create where it kind of comes away from the wall. Now, I'm quite happy with that. Now, what I want to do, I want to add a texture map to the grips tutorials, but I want it to match the wall as if it's coming from the wall so let's go back to style image double click so we're going to look for something that we can use clearly i have plenty of wall png pictures double click and it applies it now it's still kind of hard to see so what i'm going to do i'm going to resize the actual texture map we're going to go over here and highlight it just click on it once and it goes red and now you've got a little bounding box here but all this is it, as you can see as i move it in and out I'm almost like I'm zooming in and out on the actual texture map. Now what I want to do is I got a bit of a uh, looks like a cement line here and I kind of want to match that. So it looks like this has been carved out of the wall. Now that looks pretty good. All we need to do now is add a transition onto the titles. So let's highlight the text tracks grips tutorials. Let's go into our attributes or our transitions panels. Go into transitions, go into animation, and we are going to be looking for something like the fly in effect. And I want to do the sprayed letters, just like I showed you in the beginning. So that looks pretty good. Double click. Now it is applied. Now, if, like I said, if you're happy with the way it works, and if then by all means keep going. If not, what we can do, just like the other thing, double click on here and that'll bring up the transitions so here it is the transitions panel and we can do the same thing a letter or the per word let's have a just look per word it just gives you that little bit of a different look here we go yeah no doesn't work for me let's go back to letter because i think that's what looked pretty cool at the intro all right so that's done and all we need to do now is create the categories all we need to do is add a new text track so let's do that Add text, double click, and one more time. Now, let's see, what was it? Easy, space, fun, boring, and obviously dumb. <laughs> that looks pretty good. So let's drag it up and let's make it a little bit bigger. Just like that. And I may add a bold to it so it really pops out. And obviously, I will also add an extrusion. So about... And level five as same as the grips tutorial boom that's i'm done and for this one i'm also going to add an outline and i'm going to basically do the outline from here so here outline 3d and i'm going to change that probably to black yep that's exactly what i had before 
Right, now, what we need to do is bring in the little grips that represents basically the scale of 1 to 7, I believe. So let's go to File, Import, PSD, and let's look for Grips. Here we go. Look at that, lots of little grips popping up. And then we're just going to resize that a little bit so it fits within the project. And I may also just scale this down just a tad. It is quite large. There you go. Now, if you're wondering what this is, this is the ruler. Now, I'll show you why I had it out. I can click things down like that and bring down a ruler. And then what I can do is, as I grab this, it'll snap to the ruler. Bop. So if you're looking for something precise, like let's say I need to have uh, grips here. Well, here's a cool little tip. Hover over this, control and drag, and automatically makes a copy, and then it can snap. And again, we can do that again. Control, click left and drag, click release. Control, lift, click, lift, click and drag, and release. And voila, and that's what these little guidelines are for. And if you wanted to remove it, just take them like that. And that's what the rulers are for. Pretty cool. Now, as you can see, I'm slightly off. So this is a good opportunity to bring in that ruler. And then I can just snap everything into alignment. So it looks all neat and tidy. There you go. All right. Now, obviously, um, I wasn't all seven. So what I need to do is just basically eliminate a few of these little icons, or basically me. Double click, delete. Double click, delete. Double click, delete. Double click, delete. And it's just up to you how you want to do it. I think this, this is fine. Now, uh, what we need to do is then add some form of transitions for this one and for this one. So obviously what I like to do is be able to cascade this like pop, 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 and that gives you a really good effect of as to see like, oh, this is like an infograph. So let's go do that. First, let's do the easy, fun, and boring. So we can do that. So let's highlight the easy, fun, and boring. Let's go over here to the attributes panel. Uh, let's go into something like a transition. And this time we may just do something like, uh, I don't know, uh, what's a good one? A, a zoom. I think a good zoom, overlap zoom is always fun to do. Uh, it's slightly different to the intro, but again, I just want to, well, I think I used the splat or the something similar to that. Let's just do that. I think this one's fine. All right, so double click on that, and then it automatically applies it. So you don't actually have to click or drag it. You could just literally double click it. And then we can see it here. Now, obviously, it's coming in a bit too soon. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually take that track. Let's get rid of this. We're going to take that track and make it a little bit shorter. So it's not at quite as long. That's all I need to do. So I can time it that when the whole screen is coming down, as you can see, from here, I can now start bringing those letters in. Uh, see that makes more sense. Otherwise, it's uh, it's just slightly off. So we just what we did was just drag this track to the right. Now I also need to make sure that these don't come in too early or too late. Probably around about the same time as the text track, easy, fun, boring, and dumb. Now what I'm going to do here is slightly different. I'm going to hold down the shift key, uh, control key, and then highlight all of these. And then I'm going to do the group icon here. And that makes it just easier for me to also click and drag this. So I want this probably a little bit later, right about here. And that's when I want to bring in the little grips popping in. And then bob. Okay, so now what you need to do is add a small transition to this. All right, let's do that. So let's go into the attributes and go into transitions and then we may do the fly in again and let's have a look so yeah you know that kind of looks cool all right so if i apply this one here and i go over to the fly in double click i've got words now what i want is letters so i'm going to do the letters and that's going to give a, a, the the effect that i'm really after there you go. So you can basically play with any transition you want. And then even then you can make the adjustments 
in the transitions panel. And there you go. So we basically recreate it. Basic, basically, I'm using basically a lot. We make. <laughs> Let's start again. We basically recreated the intro as shown in the beginning of the video, and it was that easy. So there you go. Now, before I go, um, obviously the poll that I did was just out of fun. It wasn't actually real. It was just a means to create this tutorial. But I do run polls on my community. So if you do subscribe to me, uh, quite often I run polls asking similar questions like what type of videos do you want. So if you like to follow uh, uh, subscribe if not just leave a like because it kind of lets me know that i'm heading in the right directions with my tutorials and as always thanks for watching